Hello everyone and once again welcome to WS Cube Tech, myself Umar Taskir. In this particular video we are going to talk about another very important aspect from technical SEO point of view that is redirect. So we are going to study what are the redirects, how do we implement them and uh, what are the two types of redirects which are very famous that is 301, what, what is 301 redirect and what is 302 that is 302 redirect. So let's uh, begin with the definition, the basic definition which says that a redirect is a way to send both users and search engines to a different URL from the one they are originally requested. Suppose if there is any user and that particular user is going into the browser and typing like uh, www.a.com but when the page loads it's like uh, https www.a.com a.com this is basically the redirection it can be something like that also like uh, if you have domain like a.com and if you have also purchased the domain like a.in if you have also purchased the domain like a.co.in then in that case what are you going to do is you basically if this one is your primary domain and you, if you want that anybody who is typing a.in or a.co.in then these urls should also point to this particular website so this is basically a uh, redirection if we talk about that basic definition that what is a redirect or what is the process redirection then this is basically the redirection so it basically moves or it basically sends uh, users as well as search engines to a very different url which is originally requested then what are the two different types of redirects then uh, technically we do have two types of redirects the one is 301 or it is also called as 301 redirection Sometimes it is called as uh, permanent redirection. Let me write over here. It's permanent redirection. And the other one we have is 302 or 302 redirection, which is basically temporary. It is temporary redirect. So how these two redirections actually work and what uh, what they uh, provide us? Uh, let's let's discuss this thing. URL has been moved permanently to another URL. We are going to implement 301. So when we are going to implement 301 in the case where uh, the URL is permanently shifted. For example, if you are having a URL which is like HTTP, right? HTTP www.a.com. Now you are going to buy SSL. So once you buy the SSL, what are you going to do is you are going to basically redirect, redirect this particular URL to HTTPS. Fine, got my point. This will be www.a.com. And this will be a permanent redirection. It is not temporary redirection. We will never come back to this particular URL, right? So the temporary redirection is one. You are basically redirecting uh, users or the crawlers to different URL for a specific time period. Maybe uh, it's, it's kind of a temporary thing. It's not a permanent thing, right? But uh, in this case, in this particular example, what are you going to do is you are going to redirect users and the crawlers from this particular URL to this particular URL, it would be a permanent shift, right? You are not going to come back to this URL or you will never want other users and the crawlers to come back to this URL, right? So this is a permanent shift. So in that case, if you are having any permanent shift, then you are going to use 301 redirection. The second important point is 301 redirection passes between 90 to 99 percent of the link equity that is ranking power or the link value to the redirected page suppose if you are having this particular url which is running there for like uh, four months six months right this particular we are url and it is uh, running there for like uh, what i have assumed is four months it is running there for like four months then uh, so many backlinks are there which are pointing to this particular url this url now you are uh, shifting it to 301 redirection and you are making it like https right in that case, what will happen is the backlink strength that this URL is having will be transferred to the another one to which you are actually redirecting. This is why because uh, we are using 301 redirection. So whenever you are using 301 redirection, what will happen there? Uh, 90 to 90 percent, 99 percent of the link equity, it ranges between 90 to 99 percent. It can be somewhere like 89 percent also. You cannot judge it uh, uh, perfectly. But it is somewhere, we call it somewhere between 90 to 99 percent of the link equity passes to the redirected link, right? This one, HTTPS, right? So broadly speaking, 301 redirects are implemented when you want to move all of the SEO value, right? The, all of the SEO value, the link power to the destination URL after the source has changed permanently. That only example was there. 
moving a new domain permanently right so if you are moving a new domain you, you are purchasing a new domain then those kind of uh, redirections are basically the 301 redirection for example you were uh, working on this uh, domain uh, earlier now you want to move to this domain then there will be a redirection which will be 301 redirection changing a sites protocol permanently example uh, if you are doing a migration from http to https what kind of uh, redirection you are going to consider will be 301 redirection right so this is basically 301 redirection when we talk about 302 redirection it indicates that url has been temporarily moved to another url so there is there is temporarily shift it's not like that uh, we are moving uh, permanently right so there is no new domain or if there is any new domain so it's, it, it is not basically the permanent shift so in that case we do not require all the seo value to be transferred to the new domain right because the reason is so uh, what we are assuming over here is we'll be coming back to our previous url so if we are coming back to our previous url there is no need to pass all the seo value or all the link trend to the new domain or the new url right got my point so uh, if it is case if it is the case then we are going to use 302 redirection search engines don't immediately pass page rank to the destination url that is what i told you just uh, 302 doesn't indicate that destination url should be indexed right so uh, when you are applying 302 redirection it doesn't indicate that the destination url should be indexed because it is a temporary shift it can be used in the cases of a b testing suppose if you are having a landing page a and if you are having a landing page b and previously you were working on landing page a now you want to test some other things on your landing page another elements of the landing page then what you will do is basically uh, and you are not sure that you will be moving to this particular url permanently or not so you have created another page of different url now what you have done is you have applied or you have moved the users and the crawlers from here to here with 302 redirection right so you can use them into testing also when you are testing your landing pages and everything for recurring temporary content right so these are the different points which justifies that in what conditions you are going to use 302 redirection so guys there are two kind of redirections which is 301 also known as permanent redirection and there's another redirection which is 302 which is known as temporary redirection and these both redirections uh, we, we basically implement them uh, according to the situations according to the needs right so that's it for this particular video see you in the next video till then goodbye